eventually the book was done. We printed it 250 copies, I think. Eventually the book was done. It took 12 different ghostwriters and a disgusting amount of drugs, but he finally finished it. There was no proofreading done. Whatever. I'm sorry. He's just so stupid. Fucking idiot. Eventually the book was done and uh, the friendships I made during the process, well they're going to last a lifetime. And the book, uh, well the book's going to last forever. So you know, fuck those friends. Eventually the book was done and I said a little prayer. I said, dear Deepak Chopra, please eliminate John Paul Fiorentino from my life, or better yet, just eliminate John Paul Fiorentino. Hopefully one day my prayers will be answered. What of Evan? You know, I will always love him. I will always be there for him. No matter what, I will always be there for Evan. But I don't predict good things for him. Because what's going to happen when I'm not around? Like when I'm not there? Like if I'm at you know, some party or I'm hanging out with more important people. You know, what's he going to do then? And now that you're done strip mauling, how are you going to go on with your life? Oh, there are a lot of projects that uh, that still are coming down the pipe. Uh, for example, right now I'm working on a whole story. Uh, it's set in a post-apocalyptic Hamilton in which only the steel workers survive and they've started up a new community within the factories. Uh, it's called Lay in Pipe and uh, it should be out in 2010, I think. And so he'll fuck up and maybe it'll be funny, but my heart will break. But you know, hey, I wrote strip mauling. I'm John Paul Fiorentino. So, you know, put that in your pipe and smoke it, Mavis Gallant. Like, what the fuck? You know? Like, who the fuck are you anyway? What have you done? Nothing. What will you do? Nothing. I wrote strip mauling. I wrote most of strip mauling. That's, you know? Fuck her. Right? God. Is it hot in here? Thank <laughs> you.